Good morning, Highlanders. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020. The weather today, sunny, high near 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun rose this morning at 649 and will set at 651 post-meridian, 651 p.m. Today's picture day for kindergartners and first graders and second graders. Um, there, it, today happens to be um, a day that um, would take a long, I would say the anniversary of this complicated thing that happened with the value of gold many decades ago, probably not worth trying to get into, but it got me thinking about the element of gold, which is so um, fascinating, right? If you see pictures of gold treasures, it's just inherently compelling. It's just a, a magnetic it's not literally magnetic, I don't think, but it's a magnetic element. We, we, we are drawn to it. We find it very dazzling. Um, I was reading The Hobbit to one of my children and was struck by how treasures are described in The Hobbit and how they're just so mesmerizing and compelling. I started thinking about gold and was just um, hoping to share some facts about gold with you. So first of all, gold has been discovered on every continent on Earth, so that would include even Antarctica. And human beings have been mining gold for thousands of years, so human beings for many thousands of years have found gold to be attractive and compelling, and they have wanted it. They found it precious. Uh, the first gold coins started to be minted around 700 BCE, before the Common Era. So that is, um, you know, 2,700 years ago, people began taking that mined gold and turning it into coins. And there are more than 400 references to gold in the King James Bible. So the King James Bible was written um, by a group of writers in English in the 16th century, I think, or the tail end of the the very beginning of the 17th. I can't remember exactly when it was written. I think in the 1500s of the 16th century. Um, and so those writers mentioned gold in that text more than 400 times. And people estimate that 142,000 tons of gold have been extracted from the earth, have been mined from the earth over the course of human history. So 142,000 tons of gold have been taken out of the earth. Where is it all now? Of those 142,000 tons, one and a half of them were found in the coffin of Tutankhamun's tomb. King Tut's tomb contained one and a half tons of gold. Now, as a mineral, as an element, chemically, gold is really interesting. It's very ductile. It's very stretchy. So if you have one ounce of gold, it can be stretched into a single gold thread that goes for five miles. Gold doesn't rust. It doesn't really react very much. Um, uh, and yet it is so pliable that it could be made into sewing thread. You could sew with gold thread. Gold does conduct heat, it warms up, and, and it conducts electricity, but it is chemically inactive. It doesn't, it's not affected by air, it's not affected by moisture, so it's um, very kind of stable in that way. Scientists think that there are nine billion tons of gold in the Earth's oceans, but it's not extractable. I don't exactly know how there could be so much gold in the oceans, but they think there are nine billion tons of it in the oceans, and we'll never be able to get it. And then maybe most fascinatingly, gold and its kind of relationship to the human body is super interesting. So first of all, gold is edible. You could add gold flakes 
to your food and you could eat it. I don't recommend that you eat gold, but you could. Um, when gold is very pure, it has no smell and no taste. But your body contains gold in it. The average human body contains two tenths of a milligram of gold. So it's a very trace element in your body, but it is in your bones in very, very small quantities. And then, this is my favorite, scientists in Australia have found gold particles in the leaves of eucalyptus trees. There is gold particles, there are gold particles in the leaves of eucalyptus trees in Australia. Kind of amazing. So, a few thoughts about our very precious metal for you today. If it is your birthday today, September 24th, 2020. Happy birthday to you. I hope you all have a day filled with kindness, friendliness, and peace. Take care. We will see you tomorrow.